wake up and head to work looking into their phones, do their work on a laptop, play a game or watch a movie on a tablet or a television and head back from their work getting drowned in their mobiles on their way back home. People are almost stuck in between these rectangles, between their buzz. Just like any other revolution, where humans fight against things that make them feel bad and treat them unfairly, Namo Bengaluru started its silent revolution against the fast-paced world and constant technological bombardment that made our lives restless and anxious. In between the trees, amidst the chirping birds and dogs just lazing around, along with people who choose to read, write, paint and do other activities of their choice on a Saturday morning, seeking solace in the silence at what's called as the lungs of Bengaluru, Kabban Park. come to Carbon Ridge a couple of times now and I really like the atmosphere of everybody just existing together. I think it's very wholesome. Carbon isn't very too, uh, too close to my house but I come here a couple of times just. I started off coming for a project but then I really like it. So I'm After I lost my husband in 2023, this has helped me not to be stressed, be calm. So I can be myself here. Yeah. This ambience is pretty good. I can come here every Saturday. Okay. You are a regular here? Yeah, mostly. <laughs> How long have you been coming? I think for the past uh, four or five months I have been coming. I think you might have made good friends on other people. Yeah, yeah, I get good friends too. Yeah. And uh, the, most people are uh, of my sons and daughters' age. Yeah. <laughs> so I find it very really good. Getting in touch with the younger generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bangalore can be pretty lonely. <laughs> so here we get uh, good experiences coming here, sitting here, and we meet a lot of people. Mostly it's 
one painting a week for me. <laughs> but at home, uh, I don't get that much mood. Harish and I, we started Carbon Beats in December 2022. Uh, actually, we started coming to Carbon Park anyway by ourselves. I we used to come and read here. How it started was that we soon had a friends joining who wanted to be a part of the same mat and wanted to read with us. And then there were friends of friends coming. So we thought, why not just make an Instagram page out of it? So that more people could come and read with us. So that's how it started in officially in January last year. So we've been at it for I think over 60 weeks now without fail. And as you can see around there, hundreds of people now come every weekend. Started with two people and now we're here. Um, and yeah, it's just a silent reading space. Come join us whenever you're in the city, bring your books, bring your mat, bring your fruits and all that. And there is no mandate for talking or discussions at all, so it's not a book club. It's a silent reading community, so bring anything you want at all, even if it's your newspapers or your GRE prep books or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah come for Kabul region. This is a testament of the long life reading culture has in future who choose painting as their creative expression, writers who channelize their emotions through their words, and of people who believe that not everything they do is to just fill their pockets, but also what's behind that pocket, their heart. Some of them choose to turn the pages around, fill their canvases with colors, knit their joys and sorrows into a crochet, write their hearts out, and create art by just folding papers, but all of them choose to enjoy the breeze between the buzz.